Unfortunately, I can't show you the front cover because I stuck a label over it. So I can only show you the sides around the back. So this is ideal for motorcycles, bicycles, mopeds and scooters. And believe it or not, I used to own a motorbike. I've had several motorbikes in the past. And yes, I do have a full motorbike license. My biggest bike was a Kawasaki ZX9, red one. Not the green one, the red one. And uh, yeah, loved it, it's brilliant. But I was getting carried away and I knew I was gonna end up killing myself, so I decided to get rid of it before, before it was too late. So this is from a company called REAP, or REAP, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, an arm disc lock, it's the PC1406, and lot like says on there, you know, not just for a motorbike, you can use it on other things, and uh, gives you instructions and manuals, I will have a read of it, 110 decibels, a little bag, I believe that's a little bag, could be a big bag. That is for your disc alarm. Yeah. The alarm itself. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. There's an Allen key in there. Now the Allen key is for so you can undo it and put your batteries in. And I don't know if it actually comes with batteries. Yes, it does. Good. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? So you just fill that up with your batteries and then plonk that in. So we will go through the emotions emotions we will go through the motion of you know putting the batteries in see how easy or how hard it is so this in case anyone doesn't know i know most bikers know you know how these things work but in case you're new to this this goes on your handlebars and attaches to this and the reason you attach this is to remind you that you've got this on your disc because there's nothing worse than trying to ride off and you still got this attached because you're going to damage something, mainly your brakes or something like that, or your wheel. And uh, it looks like car keys, doesn't it? So I'm going to read the instructions. So that is everything you get in the box. I'm going to read the instructions because I don't want the alarm going off in here. I will test it in here just to make sure it works, and then we will put it on a motorbike and go through the emotions of it. emotion. I'm doing that word again and go through the motion of actually testing it and see if it goes off. <laughs> 110, best, 110 decibels. So with that, let me have a chance to read it and I'll get back to you. This video is sponsored by Cheap Host UK. Whether you're an individual or a company, they have a package for you. Say goodbye to unreliable hosting and support. Cheap Hosting was built to not only provide reliable hosting, but to have access to a support system every day of the year. Their basic plan starts from as little as 58p per month or £6.99 a year. If you're wanting even more access and privileges, there's a premium package which is £1.41 a month or £16.99 a year and comes with a free .co.uk domain. Once purchased, you'll be provided with instant setup and one click installed to over 200 well-known applications like WordPress and all websites are secured by an SSL certificate and they have a high customer satisfaction rate plus you can pay by PayPal. Check out the link in the video description below to save a further 10% on your first order. So with that let's get back to the video. Right, I do not need to put the batteries in. It already has a set of batteries already in there. This is a spare set for when that one runs out. And I'm not going to dismount it because we're going to test it right now. So it says to arm it, which I, you know, I have tested it already. All you've got to do is push that in. This sponge was inside there with the Allen key. So in case you need to change the battery. At the moment we don't because it's brand new and all you have to do to arm it is to push it down that is armed and ready to go and if you want to disarm it oh alarm was going to go off in wasn't it <laughs> right we're going to have a go i'm going to leave the key in this this time though ready and it's going to get loud
<laughs> I love the sound, by the way. <laughs> My wife's going to kill me. <laughs> right, what we're going to do now is... We're going to have another go. <laughs> you don't leave the key in, all right? You just push it down and it's armed. Gives you a beep to tell you. Give it a little wiggle. If you don't keep mucking about with it, be safe. Don't forget, it's normally on its side anyway. And here we go. <laughs> Should be moaning later. <laughs> right, so we know it works. So I am going to use it now on my on my mate's bike. He's got several motorbikes. I haven't got any anymore. But he has several. And we are going to test it out right now, right? So... Give me a second while we're going to get all my gear and go and set it all up. Let's go through the pros and cons. First things first, it's easy to connect to your disc. All you've got to do is find the hole, push it in, and it will beep to say you're arming me. And then the second beep, it will say, oh, look, I'm armed. Leave me alone. Do not touch. And it comes with a nice bright orange cable, so you can put it on your handlebar to say, look, I've got a disc lock on here, don't forget it. <laughs> Which I thought was a good idea. I've even seen someone in the past, who's had one of them, took that off and just rode the bike and went straight over. <laughs> Honestly. It comes with a nice carry case, this little baby, I thought, yeah, it's quite nice. And a spare set of batteries, again, quite nice. And also, comes with an Allen key, with a little pad to stop you accidentally setting it off. See that? Because you've got that there, you can't actually arm it while that's in. And I will recommend that you leave that in there because you know what it's like? You put it in the little bag, you press up against it and you've armed it. And oh my God, the alarm's going to go off. One of the downside, and there is a downside, it's not metal. And I'll just prove it. That's a magnet with my Allen key. And it's in there. Allen key. See that? Magnet. Yeah? That is just an alloy. Oh my god! It's an alloy! So yeah, it's not metal. Which I was a little bit disappointed in. But then again, what do you expect for £22? Link in the video description. Yeah, £22. Don't expect it to be... You know, a solid lump of metal that's going to stop anyone getting into it because it's not. But it should be a good deterrent. It should be enough to pit most people off of trying to nick your bike or your vehicle, whatever you're using it on, and say, look, I've got a disc lock with an alarm on it. They're going to come up, give it a little wiggle, and it'll give you a little bleep. It won't go off. We tried it with, with uh, wiggling the steering wheel or the handlebars, and... It didn't go off, but as soon as we done it more vigorously, it went off. So we thought, ah, that works, but it's not fantastic. You give it a quick flick and off she goes. And yeah, it is loud. 110 decibels. Yeah, very loud. So yeah, a good deterrent, so I'm trying to get open so I can show the battery compartment. A good deterrent, but not, it's not unbreakable. And a determined thief who knows what they're doing, no matter what, if they want your bike, this will not put them off. Even with the alarm going off. Right, changing the batteries, very easy to do. All you do, four screws like I've just done now. Lift up the flap, there's your batteries, there's your new set of batteries. Take them ones out, put them ones in, job done. That easy. I think there's about six batteries in there, but I'm not sure. Then just put it all back together. All the way around your key, like so. And then just put all the screws back. They're very easy to do, but you do need the Allen key with you. Yeah. Like I said, easy to do, just need the Allen key. So, like I said, it's a determined thief wants your bike, this will not stop them. Because 
they will either have a grinder with them or some sort of crowbar to snap it off even if it meant damaging your brakes they don't care because they just want your bike so uh, I would say if you're looking at buying one of these use it as a or buy it as a deterrent not as a end all you're not taking my bike because it, it won't stop them but it should be enough to pit off most thieves or basic thieves that are going to try and steal your motorbike especially with the noise it should alert most people and say oi what are you doing put that bike back you never know they might nick the lock <laughs> that'd be funny wouldn't it let me know you let me know in the comments what you think you know whether you've got a motorbike or you're thinking about buying one and you think it's worth buying one of these I'm interested to know what you think. Like I said, if I had a bike, which I ain't got now, my mate's got quite a few, then, you know, I would normally get a bike alarm and one of these as well. Because, you know, the more you got on there, the better. And data tagged as well. Yeah, my bike that I used to have was data tagged. So definitely gets my thumbs up for the cheapness it costs. £22, link in the video description, and it comes with uh, nice little accessories, and it's a good deterrent. So with that, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, if you didn't, give us a thumbs down, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I'm not turning it on. <laughs>